Yeah, the issue of the anti-caste list, the issue of anti-caste legislation, which has been delayed by the British government. I think before we talk about it, I think let us see the historic. Uh, uh, let us go into the history of these British uh, 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 Britishers. See, if you look at the British India ruling, British ruling India during that time itself, several Indians from you know, all the castes have gone to British and other parts of the world. And of course, the Dalits have gone in as menial workers, and you know, people of their, you know, parallel to their caste uh, hierarchy, they had picked up jobs and, you know, uh, what you call uh, walks of life as they chose. But when you look at this, <coughs> Uh, so the, the point is that there are several Indians who have settled, you know, in the uh, in, in British. But uh, in the 80s, if you remember, when the British government wanted to name one of their road after Ma Mahatma Gandhi, you know, one of the Dalit one, Mr. Tangavelu, who is a, who is settled over there, a Tamilian, he opposed it, and you know, he came up uh, with a big report. Uh, opposing the uh, in, uh, naming of this road after Mahatma Gandhi. And he proved to the go court that Mahatma Gandhi is a racist. With, he, with a lot of evidences that he could, uh, you know, got, uh, collect from the histor history. And that report is published as, you know, uh, Major Sergeant M.K. Gandhi, in which you will see an entirely, you know, interesting photograph of Gandhi where you know he is in a military uniform holding a gun with iron cap on his head so this book has been banned by the india for a long time and only in the late 90s or early 2000 the book has been the ban has been lifted and this small booklet was available for a common reader of course unfortunately very few copies have been published so you don't find many of them here uh, or you know with many people but that Report that Tangaveli has submitted to the British, the, 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 to the British Parliament says very clearly how ruthless Gandhi as a British India Army person, and he behaved in ruthless way with the you know Africans over there in South Africa. But he expected a different kind of treatment for Indians by the Britishers. That is the actual problem uh, with which Gandhi encountered. When he raised this, British, of course, they opposed it, and this man got, you know, disillusioned, and you know, he came to India, and he became Atma. So the point here is that when, so the politics, the caste politics in British, uh, in UK, is being an old one. It's not new or you know the modern or the current uh, time uh, discourse in British. So when uh, the settled. Indian uh, Dalits in British, when they could oppose the naming of a road after Gandhi in 80s, again the Hindus or the caste Hindus, now they came up and you know they they, they, they could uh, you know stall this uh, or they delay the legislation. So it's a kind of you know fight that is going on. So I don't see it is you know actually a defeat uh, per se, but it is a kind of you know you know it's a fight and a counter fight. Because when we opposed, we were successful in stopping the uh, the Gandhi's name to a road. But they were now they were successful in stopping the you know legislation in favor of us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, tell us more about what happened and why it was stopped, stalled recently. Because earlier there was earlier the parliament was not ready to move. I suppose there in uh, UK. No. But they passed yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. And then again, uh, they said the two years' time they'll take for. So, what happened in between? Do you have. No, I don't have much information. Then, uh, how do you see the Indian population, Indian diaspora, responding to this? Because I find very less kind of a response from Indian diaspora debating this issue. Yeah. Ravi, see, if you look at the Indian diaspora, Indian Dalit diaspora, let me put it very precisely, you know, unfortunately, is not very active uh, or not having a common notes among all of us. See, uh, this is the thing, you know, the one of the problem could be in a kind of understanding of the whole issue because, you know, the caste is a, a unique uh, social problem that we have in India. So, hence we, 
Indians and fight it in India and you know uh, fight out it in the Indian territory. So those who went out, they also uh, they, they they are also fighting for their own identity within their own places. So that is why you know the the the, the Indian diaspora people what you call expressing solidarity to the Indian masses over here and Indian masses expressing solidarity to the you know problems that the people outside India are facing is not happening as it's happening in you know uh, in, in, you know with the other sections of the society. For example, you know when we last so five years as a, uh, uh, the National Health Forum is engaged with the special component plan uh, legislation and all that you know. But in that, when we wrote to many of our organizations outside India, none of them have responded. We, we, we requested them saying that, you know, since you are outside India and being a Dalit outside India, and if you write to government of India in support of what we are doing, it would carry more weight. And, you know, we can actually, you know, the, our demands can be fulfilled. But unfortunately, nobody could understand it. So I feel that the, our people, they have not even realized the impact or the, the the difference that the diaspora discussions can make about the India. So that is why there is one of the reasons why there is no uh, almost no no discussion about this legislation. Not only outside Indians, even India. See, even in, in India, in our own you know e groups and you know blogs and other things, very few people here and there have reacted. But otherwise, nobody talked about this uh, legislation. Sir, thank you for going a little further into this discussion. How much importance of legislation is there for US based Dalits and especially in India in context? In India, as a Dalit, if you see, how much important that legislation is? Do you think there is an impact of that legislation if it is passed there to India also? Yeah, obviously it will have a lot of impact on Indian government because the when, when a foreign government see the the caste system is pertinent to India. It is a unique feature in Indian society. But now with the globalization and you know different means and ways and reasons for the for various reasons, people have gone all over the country, all over the world. And obviously Dalits also have migrated. And wherever the Indians have migrated, you know, the, the Dalits are being discriminated by the caste Hindu Indians over there. So for example, you know, if you talk about America. Now, the Telugu American, there are two Telugu associations in America and one is dominated by Kammas and one is dominated by Reddies. And you hardly see any scheduled caste people speaking or you know having any importance over there. Except for uh, Shatish Chandra about uh, five years back, he was invited by I think ATA, uh, America Telugu Association and to one of their annual this thing and you know, he, was been, he has been felicitated. Except Shatish Chandra getting that kind of recognition, I have not seen. No Dalit has been invited or, you know, felicitated by any of these, you know, the Indian groups who are settled outside the India. So, but when we come to legislation like this, you know, especially thanks to the British government, when they, you know, when, when they do a legislation like this, it gives a signal to the Indian in a country, nation, that, see, for the little number of Indians that who are in our country, and considering there are the pathos of the Dalits who have migrated to our nation, we are giving we are giving this kind of measures to protect their you know their, them their interests. So that that raises a ethical and moral question to the government of India to further improve the you know the existing you know legal system and you know other opposition for the Dalits in India. So it will definitely have a greater impact, a very positive impact uh, on the uh, on India. See, the Britishers, they have seen the, well, while they are ruling the India itself, they have identified the scheduled caste, how they have been discriminated and they wanted to improve the uh, scheduled caste by giving special provisions. That is the origin of reservations in India. So the same thing, when the lot of Indians migrated to British as workers, especially in mines, as mining workers, they uh, migrated. And those Indians who settled in Africa and other places, they are they 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 went to other countries as uh, Britishers because they could get the passport from British to go to other countries and there is a big chunk of uh, population of uh, Indians over there. So over a period of time, the government has realized that within the Indian community, the caste uh, practices are uh, 
there and you know the discrimination is going on so to avoid uh, and to protect the dalits who have migrated to the uh, british this legislation has been brought in to basically uh, non uh, non discrimination in social gatherings and and, uh, and employment uh, opportunities even for example if you look at any take any british indian company in british they are all manned by the people belong to that particular caste and in our religion uh, region and hardly scheduled caste people who have migrated along with them could not find jobs uh, in those companies so because of the caste discrimination so to uh, to get away with this thing this legislation has been brought this legislation has been brought and uh, the indians upper caste indians who are there in british are very angry with the dalits in the british in the british country because of the as i, as I told you the tangavelu uh, and you know, the dalit groups opposing the naming of the road after gandhi and also proving gandhi as a racist that is the biggest you know contention for them to prevent uh again or to lobby to stall this legislation